What is going on everybody? Today is a big day. So I needed a big ass cup of coffee, strong coffee actually. This is Strong Coffee Company's Cafe Latte. Um, I don't think I've shared this on YouTube before, but one of my former guests um, and former neighbors, actually Adam just moved from um, Santa Monica, no, he moved, he was in Venice, to Austin, all for his coffee company. A big opportunity came up for him to kind of relocate. So Adam von Rothfelder, founder, owner, operator of Strong Coffee Company. This is their cafe latte, and it's instant nutritional energy. It's what it says right here. It gives you 15 grams of collagen, five grams of MCT, and 150 milligrams of L-theanine. So a lot of recovery, a lot of oomph in your cup of coffee that most coffees don't have. And then of course, it's a big day, very busy day, so I need a little bit more stems added, one of those shots of uh, caramel and espresso that you saw. So. We're gonna down this, got a little bit of work to do, and pretty soon you're gonna see back here, it's gonna look a lot different. We got our couch being delivered, all of our living room furniture being delivered. So the home, the new apartment, the new loft is coming together today. Who else is a team headband, huh? I gotta say, as I'm growing my hair out more and more, this thing is saving me so much time, hassle, and uh, money on product. So, um, and plus it's just super easy. Are you laughing at me? Are you laughing at me? What is so funny? Are you laughing at my economic gains by not buying hair product every month? Yeah. So much money. You're just a woman with a third the size of the brain of a man. Yeah, you're right. It's science. All right, time to run some errands today. The theme of today's video is going to be um, business insight. So what I'm going to be doing is kind of running a few errands, getting the business set up, really transferred uh, from East Coast to West Coast. Um, absolving and transferring new LLCs, creating new mailing addresses, banking accounts, um, yada, yada, yada. These seem to um, be of interest to a lot of people um, from my content and just the internet in general. So why not give the people what they want? So here we go. Welcome to today's video. If I haven't said it already, welcome to a little insight into all things Everforward Enterprises. This has nothing to do with my business, but I gotta say, since being in downtown LA, people are freaking crazy here. I've never heard so many people just randomly yell at you. No use to, um, definitely no stranger to homeless people and weird people from DC and Austin, but LA, you're very special. Okay, so pro tip number one when setting up your own business is that uh, you have to have a physical address. And what I like about UPS store versus a PO box is they give you a physical address. So legality purposes, business, mail, yada, yada, yada. Uh, this is way better than a post office box. Okay, scratch that. <laughs> Literally the exact thing I just told you doesn't work in California. So how they do it here is apparently when you register an LLZ or transfer or absolve anything, um, you have a physical mailing address and then a business like mailing address. So you cannot use the business address as the same mailing address if it's um, not a physical location, which mine is not, it's an online business. So, so back home, I'm going to be transferring the LLC, setting it all up in the state of California. And then I gotta come back, show proof of the LLC to UPS so I can get the mailing address. Learning curve. damn quality possible to the best damn podcast possible and as I'm filming this I'm looking at the lens and I see a smudge hold on it's driving me crazy a little, sh a little schmutz I may have just made it worse I don't know but uh, anyway so in efforts to keep bringing the best quality to the show um, honestly my little traveler mic just bit the bullet and gave me an excuse to upgrade so I was using the Samson Meteor mic for a long, long, long time. I was kind of back and forth between that and the Blue Yeti, the Blue Yeti Pro, but honestly, for the longevity and the ease of it all and the sound, that Samson was amazing. And it was about a $65 mic 
over two years ago that really gave me the first probably 100 episodes. So it bit the bullet. Now this is the Shure SM7B. This is basically the microphone that I see everybody that I listen to use. Um, Aubrey Marcus, Sean Stevenson. Um, if you pretty much see any interview, uh, <laughs> any video of a podcast or audio, it's this microphone because it's the freaking best. Don't you love it when uh, anything small, your cell phone, whatever, falls in between that little crack in between the seat and the center console? That's just that's just what happened to me in my lens cap. So here we are. This is um, Barbell Brigade. I'm gonna go get some lift and some lifts. But anyways, I'll go dig in the crack and find it later. That's what she said. I'm at Barbell Brigade and I'm getting ready to uh, do a quick workout by myself. And then, yeah, in about 20, 25 minutes, I'm meeting up with Robbie Boyd. Robbie is uh, an Austin, well, native to here in California, but uh, he currently lives in Austin. And I met him through through Nick Bear, actually, a couple months ago. He was doing some new videos for him. He was living in San Antonio, coming back and forth to Austin. And since then, you've probably seen him do some continued work with Nick, I think even Travis S. and Zach Rushalo. But uh, Robbie hit me up a couple months ago and was like, hey, I'm coming to visit family in LA. Um, you know, I would love, I think it was LA, yeah. Um, but Robbie hit me up a couple months ago. I was like, hey, I'm gonna be in LA end of December, early January. Um, if you're free, I'd love to, you know, shoot. And I was like, let's do it. Let's shoot. Um, he's using this as something for his portfolio. Uh, this wasn't anything that like I you know, like commissioned him for, but the conversations we've had already about storyboarding it out, the shots he wants, um, and just from seeing his content on uh, my friend's videos, uh, I know this is going to be really great. So what I'm going to do here is probably get a couple clips of me going into the gym, but you're not going to see a whole lot of the rest of the day. I'm going to leave that up to the professional Robbie. So um, I'm going to go get a pump on because we all know before any video or photo shoot, you got to make it look like you lift, right? All right, let's go. Barbell Brigade. All right, Robbie, what you don't know is that from uh, before, actually yesterday until now, I was kind of filming some vloggy vlog stuff. Ah. And the theme, the theme was, the theme was some, kind of like some behind the scenes stuff into the business side of things. Mm -hmm. So for anybody getting started in videography, photography, like making a name for yourself, filming, shooting, um, like what's a behind the scene piece of advice you could give them getting started? Um, number one thing that I would say is do not fall succumb or succumb to uh, paralysis by analysis. Yeah, yeah. Don't be like, I need this, I need that. I've got to have this, I've got to have that. Well, I, I got to wait till I have this. I got to wait. Just start trying to find work. Just do one thing. Yeah. Absolutely, focus on one thing and go 100% and don't even focus on anything else. Like I was just showing him right before this clip at my state-of-the-art recording studio in my closet. It is so ghetto rigged with like adapters and accessory pieces and like I have an old journal holding up the clamp on the boom arm. Uh, like you don't need everything perfect to do the thing you want to do. So whether it's recording, video, anything, I mean his advice is so applicable to anything you want to do. Just done is better than perfect for damn sure. Yeah. Better is better. C, 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 C. What kind of lens? What I am trying to do is go to ever forward. I don't like the look of the camera. Looks good. So Look let's good. do both versions of that shot. Mm -hmm. 